Welcome back friend. I'm Phu, founder of Aventel. In today's video, I will explain to you the beauty of leather. History of leather. Human has a long history of using animal hides, probably predate Homo sapiens itself. We can find tools to carve animal skins as early as 400,000 years ago. Tended hides appear later, with earliest tools appear in ancient Sumer, 5,000 years BC. Since then, leather has spread throughout Mesopotamia and beyond and become the invaluable part of civilizations. With this durable, water-resistant and easy-to-access material, people had made clothes, shoes, bags, tents, canoes, saddles, armors. With these items, humans can travel far and wide, enable nomad lifestyle, connect the east and west through the syrup and more. Without leather, the world as we know it would be a very different place. Brief introduction about leather production. Raw hides, as you know it, doesn't last in uh, normal condition. For every meat-eating animal, raw hide means food. In order to preserve the hide, we must treat the leather with the process that changes its chemical composition. There are several ways that temporarily reserve the hide. For example, treat the leather with aluminum salt, fat, oil, grain. In this way, the reserved product are called parchment, not real leather. To make real leather, the raw hide must be bound with tannins. There are two most common tanning process, chrome tanning and vegetable tanning. Chrome tanning is faster and cheaper, but most of the oil and fat from the leather is stripped away, make it dry and brittle over time. Vegetable tanning is very slow, can take up to a whole year to finish, but the reason leather retain oil and fat make it last a very long time. Utility value. These days, there are many materials that are far stronger, durable, and chemical resistant than leather, nylon, carbon fiber, Kevlar. But if you need something both durable and beautiful to carry you through your daily life, leather is without replacement. Modern leathers are available as thin as 0.5 mm to as thick as you want. Many animals that are not traditionally used for leather production are now available. Crocodile, kangaroo, stingray, python, ostrich, wood leather. If you can imagine it, someone can make it. Longevity value. The oldest leather item still exists is a 5,500 years old so found in Armenia. Of course, not all types of leather are made equal. The cheapest type is fake leather. Made entirely of plastic, it will disintegrate even if you babysit it. Another type of cheap leather is split leather with plastic coating, typically called genuine leather. With this leather, as soon as the coating scratch or crack, it will look like crap. Now let's talk real leather. Leather longevity depends on two factors, how wet the leather is and how much coating it gets. Chrome tent leather is dry and inventory dry. Vegetable tanned leather and wax leather is wet and resists cracking better. Analyzed leather is leather without coating, which has a warm and luxurious feel when touched, but not very durable. In the contrary, semi-analyzed and pigmented leather has a thicker coating, which is more durable, but it feels hard and plastic to the touch. With properly wetted and coated leather, it will definitely last a lifetime, well worth your investment. Personalization value. How do you know that you have a life well lived? Is it not a grinding, struggling, sacrifice, exhaustion that you know that your life is well spent? The items that you carry with you will bear marks of your adventure. The sand mark from a beach in Thailand, the scuff mark from a food stone in Beijing, that water mark from a random rain in Tokyo. Plastic will disintegrate and be thrown away. Nylon will bear no mark and remember nothing. But leather will bear your mask, your adventure, and through leather, your life will be remembered. Tradition Unlike other luxury items like silk or champagne, leather has history root all over the world from many civilizations. Wherever humans hunt or raise animals, we can find artifacts made from their skins. From the boots of the Mongols, to the book cover in Rome, to the canoe of Native Americans, Leather represents human ingenuity and craftsmanship. 
when you acquire a leather item. You don't just buy an item, you buy a living history piece that has thousands of years of development, and thus, you acquire a piece of civilization itself. The animal spirit Human has a long history of carrying animal symbols to represent their virtue. Roman legions carry eagle and boar symbols for wisdom and endurance. Aztec warriors wear jaguar suit to represent strength. Although most modern letters are made from domestic animals, you can remember them not as what they are but what they were. Modern cow evolves from aurochs, mighty animal from the ice age. Modern pig evolves from white boar, some of the most intelligent animals, even smarter than dogs. Goat and sheep come from the hardy environments of mountains and deserts. By carrying their symbol, you will remember that you are not alone in this world. Environmental value Most of leather that you see in the world are fake leather made of plastic or split leather with a plastic coating. When they wear out or when you are bored of them, they end up as landfill or floating in the ocean for hundreds of years because they are not biodegradable. It's an unsustainable material and will destroy this planet when our descendants inherit it. In contrast, real leather, whether vegetable tent or chrome tent, is biodegradable. Some people even say they are edible, but I haven't tried eating leather though. Value for self-enjoyment. There is a saying, Mystery creates excitement. For uniform material like plastic, everything about it is regulated to a tight specification from a factory. You know its chemical composition, its manufacturing process, how it reacts to the outside world. There is no mystery about plastic. Leather is not like that. Animal skins are created by billions of cells working together one protein strand at a time. From that skin, the following protein process will react to different cell structures differently. There aren't two similar pieces of leather exist. If you have vegetable tan leather, it will go through patina process over time, which will create beautiful gradient color. With leather, you will witness true mysteries and with that, true excitement. Social value. Leather clothes have always represented the extraordinary of society. A well-policed black Oxford is mandatory for a 19th century Western aristocrat. Leather bomber jacket carries the smoke and fire of World War II. Leather biker jacket represents the outcast, the rebel, the one outside the rule of society. There is even a leather fetish subculture that focuses on unique sexual experience in Germany and US. Whatever leather means to you. Your leather clothes signal that you don't live an ordinary life. Future of leather For a material that has a such a long history, the zenith of leather consumption hasn't come too fast. New tanning processes are being developed. New animals are being used for leather production. New companies and artisans are joining the leather crafting business every year, and a booming economy with billions of people who have never used leather in their lives before, now have the chance to join this exciting new world. The future is bright for leather, indeed. That's why we at Aventel have made this holist side adjustable belt from full grain vegetable tan leather. The belt is available in the of color link in the description. You can watch the video describing this belt there. Have a nice day and see you in the next video.